boys and girls, welcome to Ms. Adams Academic Corner. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Judah Sr. My name is Judah Jr. And we're here at Miss Edda's Academic Corner. And we're going to read a book. And the book is called, What If We Were All the Same? Oh, that'd be boring. See, we are both lions, but we do look different. We got different hair color. We're different size. And we got different fur color. And your face looks different. Yeah. So... It's exciting to be different, but let's read what it says. This book is a be one of the best book awards, okay, from the American Book Fest.com. What if we were all the same? This is written by C.M. Harris and illustrated by Eric Everett. Remember the... Um, the author is the person that writes the words, and the illustrator is the person that draws the pictures. So you can see all these different faces, and they all look different. They all look beautiful. Very, very different. Very different. And we see different colors. We see brown. We see beige. We see pink. We see white. We see yellow. We see black. We see pink. We see people got their hair parted. People that got their hair looking like spikes. People that got no hair, some hair, a little bit of hair, a lot of hair. These are the different faces, right? What if we were all the same? Now this has a dedication inspired by her family. And this book is dedicated to all the children who have ever felt ashamed or embarrassed for the beautiful differences that make you. You are you. Never be afraid to be who you are. Thank you for your to your amazing parents who allowed to her amazing parents to allow her to be and loved her unconditionally. I said her, but I don't know if CM is her, but loved unconditionally. Uh what if everything was exactly the same? Think about it, boys and girls. Our houses and cars and even the stars. See, like every, you walk, drive down the block, all the houses look the same, all the cars look the same. Um, every, inside the house, the furniture, the sky looked the same. What, what if everything was the same? What if, you, if our food was all the same? No meats, no sweets. Just the same, same thing eaten every day. Ugh. Just beets. That's all you could eat was beets. Animals aren't all the same. Give them each quite a unique name. Some are big, some are small. Some have feathers and some have no fur at all. Some have two legs, four legs or none. But their differences help make the world more fun. So we see the turtle, we see a lizard, we see a lion, we see a hippopotamus, we see birds flying, we see an alligator in the water. People come in different shapes and sizes. That's what makes us full of many surprises. Even look around your house. You look different than your siblings, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles. You look different than your mother, your dad. You look different than your teacher. We all look different. We can have short hair, long hair, or no hair, no hair at all. Some could be really short, while others are very tall. We can be friends with all types of people and see all the amazing, the amazing things each of us brings. Everyone is unique in more ways than one. And that's what makes everything fun. Different is good. Remember, different is good. Different is exciting. Anything else would be uninviting. So everybody looks different. Come from different homes, have different parents, wear different clothes, have eat different foods. 
We come in different lengths and also have different abilities and strengths. Some take a hike and some like to bike. While some can't use their legs and use a walking aid, they still can play and new friends can be made. So in this, we see all kinds of children in the park. We see some walking. We see some on canes. We see wheelchairs. We see bikes. We see some running. We see some stretching. We see some drawing. We see climbing. Everybody different, different, not the same. Even the trees are not the same, different trees. That makes life very exciting. Even though we have different hair, eyes, and skin, we can all be friends and change how things have been. So we can be friends with people who look different than us. Different can be wonderful and even quite colorful. Different is certainly beautiful. Anything else would be unsuitable. Different is good. If we were all the same, don't think, don't you think it would be really kind of lame? You may be different from those around you, but remember this fact that is simple and true. Now, this is if we all look alike. We're all in the park and everybody look alike. Ooh, who's who? Your beautiful face can't be replaced. And all your differences you should be embracing. What are some important or amazing differences that can be found in you? So, boys and girls, along with your parents, I want you all to take a moment and think about the different things the amazing things that are found in you. Think about how you're different than your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin. Think about how you're different than your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grand grandfather. Think about how you're different than your pastor. Think about how you're different than your friends. And write some of those things down. And remember every day that you are beautiful just the way you are. Because we are all different. And that's okay. See you next time, boys and girls.